In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and start a laser machine using the Watson 0503 as an example. Place the box with the machine in the area of its supposed installation. The distance from the walls should be at least 1.5 meters. 220 volt outlets to connect your machine and accessories and a ground point for your equipment should be located in the nearest access. To unpack the box, you'll need the following tools. A screwdriver with an 8mm head and a strong slotted screwdriver. Using the screwdriver, unscrew the bolts of the box's cover. Remove the top cover. Hook in the metal brackets with a slotted screwdriver and detach them from the plywood box. Unscrew the front cover with a slotted screwdriver. Remove the front cover. Pull the machine out of the box. Remove the packing film. Check the machine housing for damage. Open the main lid of the machine. Remove the machine's keys from the laser head. Open all machine's panels, draw out all accessories and check them. The standard complete set includes a set of blades, a corrugated hose for the exhaust system, a metal hose clamp for the corrugated hose, an air compressor, a water pump, a machine ground cable, an internet cable, a USB cable, a set of hex wrenches, a power cord of the machine, a double-sided duct tape for alignment, a tube with sealer. Put the machine on a suitable table or workbench. For more comfort, it should be at hand level. Remove the front panel of the machine and install a honeycomb table on the working area. Using a table lift lowering knob, adjust the height of the work table to suit your material. Put the chiller at the same level as your machine. Connecting the chiller. Connect a silicon pipe from the machine set to each fitting. Connect the second end of the silicon hoses to the chiller in the following order. Connect the hose from the chiller water inlet fitting to the water outlet on the machine and the hose from the chiller water outlet fitting to the water inlet on the machine. Connect the power cable to the chiller's connector. Unpack the air compressor. Take a silicon pipe from the set and screw a fitting into the air compressor. Connect the silicon pipe to the fitting on the air compressor and to the machine. At the rear of the machine, there is a special connector for an air compressor called air inlet. Connect the air compressor's plug to the machine's outlet that is located at the rear of the laser machine. Connecting power of the laser machine. The machine is powered by the power outlets located on the right side of the machine. Connect the machine power cord to the outlet. Connect the ground wire to the special bolt on the machine that is located on the right side next to the power outlet. Connect the other end of the ground wire to the grounding point in your workshop. Connecting the exhaust ventilation system. Take the corrugated hose for the exhaust system and a metal clamping band. Connect the corrugated hose to the special flange at the rear of the machine. Tighten the corrugated hose with the metal clamping band so that it does not fall down. Connect the second end of this hose to your ventilation system or take it outside through a window or door. Start the chiller. 
open the laser tube bay in the machine. Check the water flow direction and make sure there are no bubbles in the laser tube cooling circuit. Initial startup of the machine. Put the key in the lock on the front panel of the machine and turn it clockwise. Press out the emergency stop button. Press all buttons on the side of the machine below the display. Take the USB cable from the set. Connect the USB cable to your PC and to the PC connector on your machine. Adjust the height of the laser head using the focus bar that is included in the machine set. Cutting and engraving testing. Congratulations, the equipment is ready for work. If necessary, contact our specialists and we will help you with your tasks.